was a gay record executive. Keep in mind, I love heavy metal. I love the noise. I love the sweat. I love when I go to concerts, it's 99% guys there. And then all of a sudden, this important little cassette came across my desk. You know, I'm so glad that Alago showed up <laughs> to see us live. You know, Michael Alago was an outsider in a mainstream kind of environment. And we always considered ourselves to be outsiders in a sort of potentially, you know, mainstream environment. You could argue that we were perfect for each other, you know? We were part of this worldwide new music thing that was happening. It was coming from England, it was coming from New York, it was coming from Australia. It was exciting. He was out to make it in the music business and you knew it. As cute and as sweet and as friendly and as enthusiastic as he was, he was also pretty seriously aggressive. Because when you're young and you're in a rock band and you go on the road for the first time and you've read Circus Magazine and all your, you know, all your Heroes are drug addicts and alcoholics, and so you want to do that too. When's this going to stop, or when's this guy going to die?